Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Um, if you watched Predator BP uh, yesterday, you would have seen Richard doing a fantastic video on uh, snake shedding, uh, what to watch out for, behavioural changes, how and why a snake needs to shed its skin. And um, he referenced uh, this video, which is uh, what to do if your snake does not shed properly. Uh, so this is a video about stuck shed. Uh, I feature this snake in it. This snake is about to go into shed and it's reached the stage that Richard was talking about yesterday where um, it's no longer in blue, the eyes have gone clear and uh, this snake will shed within the next uh, day or so. Uh, one of my own viewers, Andre Heiss, also asked me to uh, do a video on stuck shed so uh, this one's for you. Let's take a look at what to do if your snake doesn't shed properly. Let's talk a little bit about shedding. Um, this ball python is in shed. You can see that its skin has gone very very dull and if you look closely at its eyes you will see its eyes have gone blue and milky. And This is what we commonly call a snake being in blue. What causes this is when the snake needs to shed its skin it secretes an oily lubricant between the new skin and the old skin, skin which includes the eye caps so what you're seeing there in those blue eye caps is the lubricant that the snake has secreted between the new eye cap underneath and the old eye cap on top and this happens several days before the snake is actually going to shed just before the snake sheds it reabsorbs that lubricant back into its body just before it sheds. And the shedding process itself starts at the head. The uh, shed needs to split and there is a natural split where the snake's mouth is so the head plate comes off and peels up and back and carries with it the eye caps and the jaw plate comes down and folds back down underneath the snake so it's like the head plate and the jaw plate curl back and that provides an opening then that the snake can now use muscular contractions to wriggle out of its old skin and it does this like you or I would roll off a tight pair of jeans or roll off a pair of socks. It uses muscular contractions and forward movement just to roll back the skin. So the skin turns inside out and if a, if a snake sheds perfectly what you will end up with is the bulk of the shed will look like a rolled up sock with the tailpiece just dangling out of the end that the snake basically just crawls out of right at the end. So that's what happens when a snake sheds normally. When something goes wrong with that process and it's usually due to dehydration or lack of humidity, the snake basically cannot secrete enough lubricant between the old skin and the new skin and the old skin remains dry so when the snake tries to shed, instead of the, the old skin coming off and being nice and moist and supple, um, it's crinkly and dry and it tends to tear. When it tears, um, the snake can no longer uh, peel itself out of its old skin. Um, imagine if your socks were full of holes or your jeans had uh, tears in them and you try to roll out of the tight jeans or roll off your holy socks it doesn't work uh, you end up ripping the socks and not being able to uh, get your socks off and that's exactly what happens to a snake so when your snake has a bad shed the old skin will come off in pieces it'll be very bitty and a lot of the pieces will be left stuck to your snake uh, do not pull the old skin off the snake. It sometimes is stuck very tightly to the snake and you could end up uh, hurting the snake or damaging the new skin underneath by trying to tear the skin off. 
What the snake needs at that stage in order to help it to shed is two things. It needs more moisture in order to lubricate the skin and it needs some rough surface now for the snake to actually rub itself against and peel off the old pieces of skin. It can no longer do it through muscular contractions uh, because the skin is no longer in one piece. So what I do, and bear in mind that I am in the tropics here and I do not use heated tubs, I use ambient temperature and ambient humidity is 80%. Um, so there is enough humidity in the atmosphere for the snake to work with and usually I get pretty good sheds. If you don't, you need to add moisture and you need to add a, a rough surface that the snake can use to brush the old skin off. So the first thing that I do is I take a tub with a lid and this is not an airtight tub but I simply soak the snake in warmish water for about 20 minutes um, by warm water I mean uh, 88 to 90 Fahrenheit the same temperature as it would have above its heat mat um, here in the tropics I just simply run the tap water that comes out of the tap at 30 degrees centigrade uh, so I just bung the snake in it for about 20 minutes and you don't need to worry about the snake drowning um, put uh, enough water in there to cover uh, most of its body your snake will not drown and leave it for about 20 minutes to, uh, to soak um, and let that old skin reabsorb some of that moisture and make it soft and supple once you've done that, the snake needs to be put somewhere moist so that it can rub off the old skin. Two ways to achieve this. I use cypress mulch and it's wet cypress mulch. It's wetted down uh, to be quite moist. And this does two things. It provides the humidity that the snake needs and it provides some roughness so the snake can actually scrape off the old skin against this substrate as your snake moves around. You can either put cypress mulch in the whole tub and cover the whole tub or if your snake is kept in a terrarium simply put this cypress mulch into what's called a humidity box that's a small tub with a hole in the top so the snake can crawl inside and leave the snake to go about its business. Um, I usually leave this material in the tub for only about 24 hours and that does the job. In 24 hours the snake has removed all of the old shed and you can remove this uh, wet substrate. Don't leave the wet substrate in the tub for longer than is necessary because that can create other problems as well but for 24 hours should be fine and the snake should be able to rub off all of its stuck shed in that time period. The other thing that you can use is a small pillowcase and simply spray the pillowcase down and make it damp after you've soaked your snake in water for about 20 minutes put the snake inside the damp pillowcase and seal off the end and let the snake move around inside the pillowcase to do the same thing it will rub off the old shed uh, against the sides of the moist pillowcase um, don't wet the pillowcase because the snake could suffocate in here um, imagine that it's you putting your head in the pillowcase it needs to be just moist enough so that you can still breathe through the fabric um, but moist enough so that it provides uh, extra humidity so um, imagine that it's you putting your head in there that's how moist you need it to be and just put the snake inside the, uh, the bag for again for about 20 minutes half an hour and let it work off the stuck shed you can repeat that process if all the shed doesn't come off. Re-soak the snake for about 20 minutes in the warm water and then put it back into the moist bag and let it have another go. Um, sooner or later it will get all of that loose shed off. Again, I stress you must provide humidity so the snake can lubricate that old skin. Do not pull the skin off yourself. Uh, provide a substrate or in this case a bag so the snake can actually get that skin off by itself rather than you pulling it off. It's much gentler and kinder and less stressful to the snake to do it that way. Check the snake's shed to make sure that the eye caps have come off 
sometimes the rest of the shed will come off and the eye caps don't and if you don't correct that uh, it can lead to problems infection uh, the snake not being able to see properly um, other health issues if the eye caps don't come off so check and make sure that the eye caps have come off um, and again this technique uh, should help to uh, for the snake to be able to get rid of eye caps if it hasn't shed its eye caps if not uh, you'll need to use a syringe uh, not with a needle in it of course just the blunt end of the syringe filled with saline solution a warm saline solution and you bathe the eyes with the uh, saline solution you will have to restrain your snake probably inside a bag uh, would be the best bet and just gently uh, lubricate the eye caps until they turn very opaque and then you can use a cotton wool bud to uh, brush the eye caps off um, but that is uh, not usually necessary if you follow this technique uh, the snake should be able to rid itself of the eye caps as well if you give it something to to brush the eye caps off against remember that your snake can't see very well uh, during the shedding process so they do stress out a little bit uh, uh, easier than uh, normal and remember that stuck shed is because you're not providing the right humidity conditions for your snake so i'm not going to lecture you on that but in order to avoid a repeat of uh, stuck shed uh, you just need to check your humidity and make sure that you're giving your snake the, the humidity it needs particularly during those shedding periods uh, so that's it uh, don't panic it's a fairly common um, thing to happen uh, particularly in the drier months and drier climates and it's a fairly easy situation to correct don't overstress your snake let the snake do it itself all you need to do is provide moisture and a rough surface for it to brush the shed off against so that's it guys fairly straightforward so there we go guys some fairly uh, simple procedures for dealing with stuck shed I think it's important to understand a little bit about the shedding process so uh, when it goes wrong uh, we know what to do um, I think the important things here are give it the humidity it needs to get rid of the old skin and let the snake do it itself and that way you can be assured that you're not doing any damage at all to your snake or stressing it out unnecessarily okay guys that's all for now don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time